What's up guys, it's your boy Brother Charles, back again with another episode, and today we will be exposing insights inside. But before we get into it, check out the intro. There y'all go. I was looking for y'all. Come on and check out this episode. Let's get it. Okay, so today we're gonna be giving you guys insights from inside. I'm here with my brother. Rangel. Rangel, like exactly. Angel with the R. That's right. And what led me to do this is because you don't have a lot of insight from drivers on That's the road true. and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. A lot of drivers don't like to, I guess talk maybe. I asked a few drivers already, they you know decline, but which is very understandable. So today, me and my guy Ranger, we're gonna just, you know, chat it up a little bit. Just a couple questions, just some pros and cons, and just some insights from him and what he like and dislike about the car hauling industry. And he's gonna keep it raw with you guys too. He's gonna to tell you guys the truth and be transparent. All right, so Ranger, so tell us some, um, let's start, let's start with Whatever you prefer to start with, start with the pros. Or we'll start with the pros. All right, all about right. the car hauling industry, okay. what you like about it. Definitely the pros is the freedom they get for your own self. Um, you get to drive for your own self, work for yourself, make your own hours. A lot of people don't realize is that the fact that you have this freedom, they think that you know you're free to do anything you want, pretty much. Right. Um, wake up in your own time, everything like that. It's good, but also you gotta think. Another pro I like is the money. You know, the money comes. The money comes, and you know, it's very easy to acquire that money. So if you need, let's say, like a thousand, three thousand, five thousand dollars in that one week, and you right. work hard, right, right, you'll right. get that money right away. Like there's right. no waiting for it and whatnot for all that part. Um, and uh, honestly, that so the first pro you say, say it again because the airplane was yeah, coming on. Yeah. I'm not sure if it, it probably didn't pick it up, but the first thing you said, just say it again because that was a good that was a good point too that people need to hear. So you said the first the first thing you said again was the yes um so it's the, pretty much the freedom that you the get freedom. from it right 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 yeah right, the freedom yeah. that you get from it because like at the end of the day nobody's gonna start this business I mean they're gonna start from driving with somebody and then they're gonna pick up the skills and then you know do it on their own it's very easy actually to open up this business mm -hmm. um but at the same time it's not that's what people like fail to understand down the road right. it's not just opening getting a truck hopping in the truck and mm -hmm. driving there's a lot more to that um the fact that a lot of people get into this business is that fact because it's just hopping in the truck mm -hmm. load some cars and then you know go back but there's a lot of cons of um you know yeah cons to it right about that it's the fact that it's not just the, the dlt the dlt makes it a lot worse for us to drive exactly. on the highway right, especially right, right. with the eld log you know it's very impossible you know to go past it you know like of course you don't want to be doing things uh, wrong but because of that you know i kind of you know reduces the time that you have within this business right the quicker you are in this business the faster you make money the faster you can go home pick up cars and come back especially in the three car four car we don't make as much as a freight does right, right so right, the right. freight they can take that time to be on the road and mm -hmm. look up cars and stuff like that they also close in contract we mm -hmm. got to be quick right fast. it's like this yeah quick it's, and it's, fast. It's, it's fast you got to be you got to be on the low board the moment the moment that you get off the moment you drop, you gotta be, it's a continuous thing. So tell us what you don't like about the car industry. What I don't like, man, I've been in this business for four years. There's a lot of things I don't like about this business. It's the repetitive continuum of like picking up cars, loading up cars, and especially in the top of the lines. Find something that they ignore us, they don't give a shit. They are the ones that literally set a price to our, our, our time and our value. Right. And at the end of the day, it's like, you're calling a guy and you're asking for fifty dollars more, mm -hmm. and even if you ask for fifty dollars more, they think that's absurd. Right. They tell you right. to fuck off. They will block you. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you can't really do nothing about it. You gotta sit yourself down and just listen because at the end of the day, you might need him down the road. Um, as well, too, there's a lot of people in this business. A lot of people in this business making it hard to pick up cars, making it hard for other transporters to actually. Up the business yeah. in a certain way because they don't really know what they're doing, so they pick up cars at whatever price. Let's right. say like it's a 300 mile mm -hmm. 
drive, they're posting a car for 150. They only right. doing that because people are desperate right. and they'll pick up anything down the road. Right. People yeah. like us that have time and we want to negotiate the right the right price, mm -hmm. we don't got that opportunity anymore. That's why like the prices on Central Dispatch have gone down extremely. And yeah. we as the voice of transport, right. we have no voice at all. It's the brokers that control everything. They want to make as much money as we do. That's one con about it. The other con about it is the fact that like it's very risky. It's very dangerous as well too. Yeah. You know, it's not just hopping on a truck. You, you have to drive for other people. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to drive as well too. When you, you know, when you got a lot of people in the same traffic as you, your brakes can go out. Right. Anything can go out. A right. park can go out. Yeah. Like every week, you gotta honestly you gotta pray to God that nothing happens to your truck down the road because if it does, you're pretty much screwed. Right. With paying like tow, with paying your mechanic. And also, if you don't know how to do most of the mechanic work on your truck, mm -hmm. you're gonna be end up working to pay the mechanic right, every right. single week, right, every right, right. single month. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Just and you gotta maintain your truck as well too. These dog trucks, mm -hmm. they they honestly they break very easily. They got a lot of force to it, and people overstep over okay. it. Oh, that's, that's, your, that's your car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nah, we, we, once you get that car. All right, so guys, as you can see, we're in real time. Um, he had to go and grab his uh. His vehicle. <laughs> Miss Pooh, it's my fault. Yeah, yeah so we're in real time. So he's gonna load his vehicle and then we're gonna get back. So we got cut off because we are in real time and we are working. And as you can see, there's a truck behind us now that Range is picking up for his customer. But I'm not gonna hold him too long. I'm gonna ask him one more question. And this is a question that I get quite often on my channel. So in your opinion, people always ask me, what do I need to do to stop? So if somebody asks you that, what would be like the first things that you would tell them to do to get started in this business? Honestly, like the first thing, like the first step, like with paperwork and stuff like that, or anything yeah, like that. Whatever, yeah, that, and just, you know, you just summarize the, you know. Okay, okay, well, it's very easy opening up uh, LLC or incorporation or anything like that. Just go to your accountant, you know, they can help you out with that. I mean, honestly, the first step is getting a truck, right? Uh, financing your truck. But nowadays, it's very hard to finance a truck because back then, like four years ago, it was very cheap. Right, financed right. my truck in 2018 at that time, brand new, $60,000. Right, right now, right. it's like almost double the amount yeah, of interest. Yeah, 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 definitely. And um, honestly, it's just that, but the hardest part it's not just getting your DLT. The fact that you have to, it's a, a, all of these procedure that you need to like start with, right. right? In order for you to get in the business. Simply just, you know, get a commercial, hop on the plate and start driving. It's not like that. You have to wait for your DLT, which is a little bit, you know, a little time consuming. And then the fact that that's Central Dispatch. Central Dispatch takes a while for them to like process your paperwork. I believe it's like three to six months. Oh. No, go ahead, go ahead. You said, yeah, you, said so, you believe it's about yeah, it's I believe called. like I, I don't know how long it's been, like mm -hmm. it's been a, a long time, like but the process is very long with Central Dispatch, yeah. And for me, what I had to do in order for me to make money because I needed money, that's the only reason why we hopped on in this business, right? Um, I literally had to have family members uh, that actually, thank god, I, it worked on the industry mm -hmm. and I was able to use. Um, their credentials, their name to pick up cars and, until my account was activated at that point. Right, right, right. But honestly, that's only the, the hardest part about that. If once you are actually set up with Central Dispatch, your DOT, everything is good, you know, just hop back on the road and start driving from there. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. Well, I definitely appreciate your time, brother Rain. Time, bro. Always likewise. Likewise, appreciate and we will. It. Get with you guys. That was some exactly. insights from inside with my guy Ranger. So we'll post it everywhere. It'll be on TikTok, YouTube, and everything. There I'm you go. There you too, go. All right, man. Be safe again, Thank man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, boss. No problem at all, Take man. Take care. Uh,